Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing to a video going over, well, this palace season or this palace season's lookbook uh, for 2022 or spring 2022. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a beanie because I woke up, went to record this and I was like, nope, this isn't happening. And yeah, I'm recording this as soon as whatever drops, drops just purely because I need to record it uh, because I've got to be out. ASAP. So yeah, uh, apologies if this video is out later uh, than normal. Uh, well, it'll be out Tuesday at some point because of the fact that I'm behind. So yeah, uh, if you've already seen what's already dropping, my bad. If you haven't, enjoy. But yeah, uh, let's get into what we're getting this season from Palace. Okay, so uh, getting into it, obviously I'm not wearing my headphones today for the pure fact that it would just look, look well, I can show you, it would just like look ludicrous in the end. Uh, firstly, I'd have to like put them, it's like they're max. Uh, which they've never gone to because I don't have that big of a head. Uh, <laughs> it just, I'm not doing it. So yeah, uh, spring range uh, or spring 2022 range from Palace. So let's go through and get into it. Maybe pick out the pieces that I like the best, but obviously I'm just going to look through at first to see what is obviously dropping because of the pure fact that I, I haven't looked uh, because I don't really spoil it for myself. Uh, so first thing that sticks out is going to be you for me. You, you. <laughs> Faux fur jacket might do okay, but it could have a stupid retail on it. Powder jacket. What else do we have going on? Cricket jumper sounds cool. Yin yang and strawberry knit. Let's look at these for the time being. Um, so we've got the leather uh, flight jacket, which looks extremely cool. See, I've been looking not so much for a flight jacket, uh, more so for one of the shop pieces, but it's a bit expensive, but I don't know whether I'd wear this because it's a bit, you know, loud uh, compared to what I was looking at. We've got the Pertex Q-Light down jacket, reflective, one colorway. Oh no, multiple. I think that's cool, but I don't get the whole pocket thing there. I, I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I don't really understand uh, the pocket being there. Um, any other colorways? Works a bit better in that, I think, compared to the others. Black colorway works a lot better with, but I still don't get the whole pocket there. Yeah, oh well, it's a nice piece though. Uh, Jacquard fleece hooded piece. Multiple colorways. Oof, uh, black colorway I like in that. Uh, palace goats varsity. That's a cool idea to do it in that way uh, for the for the palace. Black colorway probably just cleanest. Navy's nice, but black colorway typically is just the way to go. Powder jacket. Black colorway. Yeah, black and grey. That colorway is okay, but black and grey I think is 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 the thing for me. We've got the cricket jumper. Does it zoom in? No. One colorway doesn't zoom in. Okay. It looks like I'm going to play like. Um, like croquet or something when I'm wearing that. Yin Yang Knit, that's a nice colour. Violet, that's, yeah, the best one. Easily the best one. Violet's nice and blue's nice, but that's the best one. And Palace Strawberry. Cream colourway. Sort of the same colourway that I've got a, uh, like a sweater in, like Christmas sweater in. It's a nice colour. Like a violet light baby blue. Mint's nice as well, or green. Whatever they're going to call it. But yeah, okay. There's just a couple of pieces that I'm seeing off the bat or straight off the bat. We've then got obviously the jean sort of section uh, that I know that people like as an overall or that they will be going for. I can't tell whether or not the lighting is great or horrendous. I think I'm just going to close this. I feel like that's so much better uh, than it was. But yeah, a lot of people go for the jeans from Palace. I know that after the fact, a lot of them do end up reselling and doing quite, you know, decent. And that just shows there's obviously still a market uh, for them if so many of them do resell after the season or after the fact. Uh, but then we've got all the pants, joggers, a couple of shorts. Uh, nothing that's really grabbing my attention too much. We've got the hoodies now. Let's see, what do we, they have in store? Duck, which they've stuck with. Yin Yang, the goat thing, so they're using that across the board. And I'll grab those two. That looks nice. That does as well. So it's that. That grabs my attention too. Yep. Okay, we'll leave it at that until we go on to the next pieces. So we've got the duck uh, bomb hoodie, zip up hoodie, obviously. A couple of different colorways. It looked cooler uh, in the preview than it does as the actual picture. So we've got the yin yang piece, obviously following up from the knit. We're going to the hoodie variation. Looks like a marshmallow. No, it, it's um, one of those things. 
Oh, I can't think of it. It looks like Nougat. That's what it is. It looks like Nougat. That is literally what it looks like, the colourway. Black and white always going to be good for yin and yang. Uh, but I do think that the green or the, the dark green and the grey are actually a good combination. But pink is is a cool little mix. But black and white, I think, and the green are the, probably the best too. Then got the goat's piece. Yeah. It's not bad. That colourway is nice. I still prefer it on the other one, I think, in the end. Palace baddest. Baddest versus Palace. It's a different piece in the end. Don't know how I feel about the change up in colours, but yeah. We've got the Fallen City hood. A little bit different. That's a nice dark colourway, which is a cool colourway. It has very, like, much so one of those, like, 80s, like, retro sort of look, where you have, like, the, in the distance, like, the lines with, like, a car going towards it type of thing. I don't know if they're aiming for that, but that's what it gives. For me, it just specifically in that colourway, uh, it comes off in that sort of design, but probably not meant to be like that. Overall, it's an okay-looking piece. Uh, I only prefer that one specific colourway, though. We've then got the Tri hoodie. I like that. I don't like that. Baby blue's nice. White's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, we've then got a colour block crew neck. That's nice. Yeah. I think they might have done one of these previously, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, nice colourways. Maybe I'm just thinking of another brand in the end. Maybe it's just me. Uh, but yeah, nice colourways overall. I'm not so much of a fan of the green, uh, but the grey is nice and clean. I think that's a really nice piece. Probably will sell out because it is really clean. Then got the flag stripe piece. Yeah. A couple of different colourways. Overall, it's okay. Football top probably will sell out to only two colorways, so yeah. Uh, and then we've got the Palace Baddest uh, t shirt as well. Yeah. Moving on to the tees, we've got no guns. We've got Palace Baddest again. Bonsai tree, that's quite cool. I know a couple of people will probably get that. Then got a canine and a surf one. Let's just take a look at them. Yeah, that's not as good as I thought it might have been. Uh, we've got the canine. That's quite cool. Bit different. A couple of different colourways as well compared to normal that I see from Palace, I'm pretty sure. Grey colourway's nice. So is that navy. That's a really different colourway. Damn. Yeah, overall that's a cool one. Then we've got this surf one. Which again, a little, like, just cool concept. That looks really good in the orange or, like, clay colour. And that colourway as well. So they've got pretty much the same colourways, I'm guessing. Yeah. Two cool pieces, though. Okay, onto the hats. What have we got this time? Duck... Bomb trucker, strawberry, farmer hat. Nothing that's really grabbing my attention too much. Yin Yang's quite cool. Duck beanie or bomber's cool. Then we go on to some vans afterwards. Okay. Ooh. Is that it? That colorway is okay, but yeah. E. If that's all they're doing to customize them, put palace at the back, that's a. Ooh, God. Okay, let's move on to the accessories. That's cool. Uh, so we've got some palace pool balls. Got a Mophie charger which is actually customised, a light, dog bowl, rubber duck, some key rings, badge, sticker pack, and then we've got the boards. So that's cool that it's customised for once because most Mophie chargers that like Supreme release for instance aren't really customised. So that's cool that it's it's a little bit different and has some actual like customization to it. Uh, we've got a light which again could be like 50 pounds or so in the end just because of what it is but i mean it's cool that it's got some custom bits and pieces or at least you get two energizer batteries as well <laughs> it is a mini one though so it might be all right it might be a lot less because it's smaller so palace pool balls i could definitely see if their price isn't horrendous which they don't normally charge a lot for things like this that it could be a piece that people would want because you had the dartboard with the darts so hopefully you know, they release something in the future in relation to this, so, yeah. Dog Bowl, I know they've released so many dog pieces in the past, this is definitely going to be one thing that people want, because, yeah, it's just obvious, and it's cool that it's got all the little bits and pieces and details to it, so, yeah. Rubber Duck, that's just cool. That That's probably the one piece that I'll be getting. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's literally it. Just a duck. It's simple job done it's probably going to be like five to eight pounds or something like that and yeah that'll be about it sticker pack plain and simple just another piece that i'll probably pick up in the end and to finish off we've got these skateboards for this season so what have we got i normally don't look out for the pro or the starting ones because they're mainly the ones that i think that the people who are interested in skating the past skateboards will be i'm also look out for the ones that are towards the back because that's where the like different designed ones will actually be sitting uh in the end like here so we've got Goodyear, Palace 2022, a very good year. Palogies, okay, yeah, again, different colorway. We've got the K9, 
that's quite cool. That's a, that's a decent little design. A couple of different colorways as well, and then we're just back to the originals. So I'm guessing that's all it is, just a couple this time round. But yeah, K91 is quite cool. So yeah, overall, I'd say it, it looks like it's going to be a good season. I think more so for the fact if people want like the more uh, jacket sort of pieces. Uh, for me personally, there are also a couple of hoodies that stick out. Definitely, this color block crew neck is going to be one of the like top pieces. Uh, other than that, there are a couple of tees, football top, and a couple of other pieces that I definitely think people want. In terms of the hats, I don't know so much. I feel like some of the pieces, like this low case trucker, uh, and maybe a couple of the others that are in the middle sort of region, will be sought after. But it doesn't seem like it's massively like that sort of thing so far for this season with the hats and the beanies. Accessories, pool balls, obviously the charger, I think just basically all of them in the end. Um, not so much a fan of the vans, but that's just my personal preference. And yeah, K9T I also think is cool. So is the Bonsai. I'd say that's quite cool uh, if it would open up. Yeah, that's very cool. So yeah, uh, but that's going to cover it for me. So as per normal, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Obviously, I haven't gone through every single item, but you can do so if you'd like to. I'll leave the link to the Palace, you know, Spring 2022 range down below. But yeah, that is going to cover it. That's pretty much it. Apologies for not uploading for a little bit of time, but hopefully I'm back into it now. You know, this probably won't go out today, so it can go out on the first. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, like, much appreciated. Other than that, I hope that you have a good day, and I will see you all next time. Peace.